How many times does our parsha mention that Hashem commanded it to Moshe? Kasher tziva Hashem et Moshe or Asher tziva Hashem et Moshe. Maybe some people know the answer of hand. Those who learned Jerusalem Talmud tractate Brachot. We know that uh, uh, there were attempts to find a uh, rem as a hint to our 18 brachas of the main prayer. The main prayer, Shmona Esre, consists of 18 brachot, 18 blessings. And there were all kinds of ways to find a uh, hint to this. Why 18? And one of the interesting hints is found not in Babylonian Talmud, but in Jerusalem Talmud, that it says that in this parsha, in Parsha Pikudei, we find 18 times that it says, uh, Moshe. But you don't count the second verse of the chapter when it says, Bitzalel ben Uzi Birnuri ben Churi Mateuda. Did everything like, like Hashem commanded Moshe, since here it's Bitzalel, so that doesn't count. That's the 19th time. It's interesting that in general, in Babylonian uh, Nusach, and that's what we'll follow today, there are 19 blessings after the, the brocha against uh, Minim, against heretics, was added. But in Jerusalem Talmud and in the Nusach of Eretz Israel, they used to combine the blessing for Yerushalayim and for Tzemach David, for, for uh, descendants of, uh, for Mashiach, basically, for descendants of David, uh, Tzemach David of the Ha. They had one brocha that combined the two of these. So therefore, they had 18 brochas in the end anyway, even though there was a brocha against Minim, but there was also a combination of two brachot that was counted as one. Today, almost nobody may, uh, uh, prays according to the snusach of 18 brachot, but I think there is in, uh, in Israel a small group of people headed by uh, uh, something called Mechon Shila, headed by somebody named David ben Chaim, and they actually dive in the nusach of Eretz Israel. So maybe that's why the Midrash uh, the, the, the Jerusalem Talmud, which of course was from Eretz Israel, it does not try to find the hint in this extra Kasher Tziva Hashem et Moshe, extra phrase, the hint to the 19th brocha, because they actually didn't have the 19th brocha, they had 18 brocha even after the brocha of Minim was added. Whatever the case may be, I found an interesting Dvar Torah in a book called Aznaim La Torah, somebody named Rav Zalman Sarotskin was a rabbi in the land of Israel and wrote very interesting commentary to the Torah. And he says that the reason that we find really in this parsha so many times, it's really a lot of times, like on almost every, every few verses, it says like Hashem commanded to Moshe, like Hashem commanded to Moshe. Why do you have to repeat that so many times? The answer is that we find in Parsha Tzitzavir where well, the command to build, a, uh, to make these uh, uh, clothes for, 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 for the Kohen Gadol and for other Kohanim and the other uh, Tzivuim, the other... Um, uh, commands in the Parsha Tzitzavia. Not once does Moshe's name get mentioned. Of course, this is well known, and it's discussed already in the ancient books, that Moshe, when he said, if you don't forgive the Jewish people, blot me out of your book, that in fact his name was blotted out from one Parsha in the Torah, and that is Parsha Tzitzavia. We would expect Moshe's name to be in Tzitzavia all the time, and instead it's not even mentioned once. And the guy added to this that, in fact, the your site of Moshe usually falls in Parsha Tzitzavir. So later, when the, uh, the, our Minog of went to read what Parsha uh, came to what it came to, it, it worked out that exactly when Moshe's name is not mentioned is the, is the week when he, when he died. So whatever the case may be, says Rav Sarotskin that it's a kind of compensation that because in Tzitzavir, in the Tzivoy, in the command, Moshe's name is not mentioned even once. Therefore, in our parsha, the opposite happened. It's mentioned all the time, constantly. <laughs> and on this, I'm going to end for today. And if you like this video, please press like and please subscribe to our channel.